Right, hello everybody, Brown Loaf here. I um, hope everybody is well and excited for this one. So this is Agnes Baker deck upgrade. Uh, so a quick word about uh, my experience with Agnes. So, uh, you know, reminder, the whole point of this is, is a sort of journey for me, learning the game a bit more. And I think I've learned the most from my game with Agnes. Uh, this spawned the uh, Desperate Agnes deck. Um, which I played through Iron Man Dunnage for a Farcom Con and uh, won it. wasn't easy, uh, but the deck seemed to work. And then uh, very recently, uh, just last weekend, uh, at the UK Games Expo, the virtual one, um, the uh, the boys from Drawn to the Flame, uh, Frank and Peter, put on a couple of blob events. Uh, one I did with my wife. The other one I did solo, and I used an upgraded Agnes Baker Desperate deck. And uh, yeah, it did really well, actually. did about 30 damage. Um, which is great news. So uh, I really, really enjoyed this. It's quite a turning point for me, uh, the Agnes play, because uh, it was the time when I really, really started sp spreading my wings, shall we say. Um, however, the deck is far from perfect. This this is not the deck I took through uh, Iron Man, far from it. This deck would not make it through Iron Man. Um, it, it had some of the parts of a desperate deck. And if you remember the gameplay in The Gathering, it was the one where I took the Attack of Opportunity, uh, two swipes with the Enchanted Blade, um, and thanks to the deck being desperate, I was able to um, make sure that last hit hit. Okay, um, I said in my introduction to the to the Midnight Mask that everybody apart from Roland enlisted Lita's help. That is not true. Agnes Baker did not need Lita's help for this. She did it with two swipes of the Enchanted Blade and a uh, Horror Ping. So uh, she's actually got seven XP, no trauma, going into Midnight Masks. So here we go. We've got, uh, there's 105 cards in this deck. I've counted, this is the possible upgrades. What would I like to see? Um, just a decent, hard-hitting spell. Just something to make the most of that five willpower um, and make up for her, her relatively poor um, forward progress stats. So, um, well, let's let's go for it. So first card could be anything. Uh, let's see what we get. We can afford pretty much everything at the moment. We've got seven XP. Here we go. Oh my word. Okay, we have got Seal of the Elder Sign. I have played this card before. Uh, let's look at what it does. It's a skill. It gives you plus one to whatever skill test. It can go on any test at all. Do not reveal the chaos token uh, from the bag. Treat the chaos token as if it was an elder sign. Okay, when this moves, when this test ends, removes it from the game. Okay, so um, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. I mean, you know, an elder sign is just a, a slither away from being just an auto pass isn't it um it's a lot of xp i think there are people with better elder sign abilities my elder sign abilities don't actually do anything it just increases the chance of a pass uh but hey i'm not going to complain there's a lot of buff cards in here i think i've done all right Ooh, exciting okay so uh two xp to go uh oh level three emergency cash it was great for roland uh too much too rich for my blood says agnes uh oh my goodness uh yeah snare trap this is actually playable right you know people always talk about those suite of cards uh the snare trap the lure the hiding spot all, all that lot i have never played any of those cards i could not tell you anything written on this card so i'm gonna have to read it here okay so it's a two cost event it's got a willpower icon and an agility icon so there we go you know, that sometimes suggests it's, it's it's not a bad fit for agnes Attached to your location, limit one per location. All right. After a non-elite enemy enters attached location, exhaust that enemy, disengage it from all investigators and attach the snare trap to it. When attached enemy would ready, instead discard the snare trap. I know, just the target for you, mate. Hunting night gaunts. That's not bad at all. Um, wow, I've never played that card. Um, the the cultists are non-elite, I believe. Um, I don't know, that might be complete nonsense. I'll double check that. Uh, however, I really like that. After a non-elite enters your location, exhaust that enemy, disengage. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, well, attach to your location. Okay, got it. So I'm just standing here. Yeah, okay, got it. Understand it. Okay, I don't think that's too bad. Um, that's a bit expensive, I admit. But look at that. I've got, a, I've got essentially an auto pass. 
and uh, maybe a way of dealing with uh, the hunting night gods. Okay, well, well, the question is, what is what we what's the payment for those? There are a couple of cards that I would not mind seeing leave my deck. Um, however, there are a couple of cards that would completely ruin me. Let's go. Painkillers. Okay, that's I mean that's a bit of a shame. Uh, I don't think I ended up using it, but it was always there as a potential weapon. Um, but there you go. It, it is what it is. Uh, let's see what the second card is. Rise to the occasion. Okay, that's interesting because I um, I said I didn't like this when I built the deck, uh, and then I played it and it helped me out a bit. It it's good in a suite of skills on its own. Um, it, it gets you to plus one, which you know is, is a lot of the time fine. Uh, you have to be two below to attempt it. It's just a bit of a it's a very awkward card for Agnes, I think. So I'm, I'm not too. Hey, do you know what? Look at this. This is a, this is an upgrade. I'm actually feeling quite positive about uh, what's going on with the world. All right, so there we go. They go out. They go in. Um, Agnes needs to get. Uh, one, oh no, I wouldn't say it's actually, just in case you haven't seen the, uh, the, the Daisy or the Roland one. Okay, anyway, let's just say, Agus needs to put in a reasonable performance to uh, qualify for the final. All right, uh, so there we go. I will see you on the gameplay. All right, hi friends, Brown and Oaf here, uh, ready to go, set up in uh, Midnight Masks, ready to take a little tour around Arkham, looking for those dastardly cultists. Uh, so you've just seen the upgrade and uh, yeah, I can't believe it a positive upgrade. What's uh, what is the world coming to? Uh, so yeah, similar to the Elder Sign is uh, it's looking like a load of fun uh, Like I said before it'd be great if her Elder Sign ability did something better uh, But hey passing tests is not to be sniffed at uh, Snare Trap, I'm so excited to play this card. Uh, my one concern is that I just won't see it um, I'm contemplating if I do another series of this which I probably will whether to put in some sort of house rule where I can uh, automatically have uh, new cards in my hand and maybe maybe in exchange for that don't mulligan um, however I yeah I quite like the randomness of it if it's meant to be it's meant to be and I think that's something I've learned over the last uh, last few weeks doing this okay um so with that snare trap, it really feels to me like uh, we're just going to be avoiding enemies as much as we can, apart from the uh, the cultists, of course. Um, so it's, a lot of this is going to come down to the concentration of enemies that we get. Uh, we know we can deal pretty well with uh, the 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 treacheries in the deck um maybe not uh <laughs> was it locked door that might be a bit of a problem um but yeah for the enemies if we can get them sort of just running around after us we might get a bit of a free run here uh famous last words um i did mention whether the cultists were elite or not they are not uh, the big one is elite, so I won't be able to use snare trap on him. But it's going to be a great target for the hunting night gaunt, um, who really ruined Daisy's day. Wizard of the Order also ruined Daisy's day. However, I think uh, hopefully with his two health, we might be able to ping him if he turns into a problem. Uh, I mean, evading him is great. However, it doesn't stop him uh, accumulating doom. Hopefully, we just won't see him. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. All right. So um, yeah, and then it's just a quick mention of my uh, evasion suite. Uh, track shoes are, are really, really could come in very handy here, dancing around the place. Um, oh, dear. oh look, there you go. He's, uh... Are your ears burning? Uh, let's just chuck him back in there. Uh, I'll just shuffle him into my uh, my <laughs> my play deck. Okay, slight pause. <laughs> okay, there they are. That was really that's like the worst magic trick ever. Was this your card? Uh, how did I spot it? Yeah, no. Uh, to to <laughs> count the card backs sticking out like a sore thumb there. That'd be a nasty surprise, wouldn't it? If I uh, on upkeep managed to pull the hunting night gaunt. Uh, anyway. Yeah, hoping to see a combination of these cards and dumb luck. I've just got to mention something on dumb luck. Something very funny happened to me uh, at the weekend. Uh, I was watching the uh, Drawn to the Flame UK Games Expo um, reveals, which were all fantastic. And I hadn't noticed that uh, dumb luck has got the following flavour text on it. In fact, I had to check that it, they had an upgraded version of this. I had to check that it was actually on the original, and it is. It's a, a, just a beautiful moment of irony. It is fortune favours the oblivious, which is what I have been uh, for the last six or seven episodes by not noticing that uh, flavour text. Um, however, now I'm not oblivious. I'm really worried that my fortune is going to run out. I don't think so, Agnes. I'm feeling confident. Let's, do, let's try going into it confident and see what happens. Okay, so just quickly shuffle those in. Uh, so what's the plan? Well, I think that's going to entirely depend on my opening hand. I would love to see the Enchanted Blade. And just for fun, I'd love to see... 
uh, what's it called? The snare trap. All right, have I got five cultists? I have, I'm ready to go. All right, let's do it. Smoking pipe. Uh, that is the one where you uh, take a damage. Yeah, unfortunately I lost my, um, whatever the other one is, the painkillers. Drawn to the flame, I completely wasted it on my last play. I'm not wasting it this time. Where could I head with that? That's normally a VP place with a high shroud. That often has two clues, that often has two clues. Maybe Miskatonic University has two clues. Maybe I'll go straight there. Uh, Arcane Studies, I, I, yeah, again, I didn't like it, but it really helped me out last time. I had to cost me a bit. Fine clothes is going to do nothing, I don't think. I don't think any of those parlays are tests. And there's Dumb Luck. We Right, okay, what am I keeping here? Well, sorry, Dumb Luck, but I've got to, I've got to dig for something quite good. So the only card I'm keeping there is Drawn to the Flame. Come on, Enchanted Blade. Stray Cat, very nice. Look, I've got a guy a Stray Cat in this deck. I'm evading for days. Maybe Desperate Search will make an appearance. Okay, they really want me to have Arcane Studies, and I'll be honest, I'm probably going to play it. Uh, and a knife. Okay, a knife. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, possibly. Possibly I'll play that. I think my first play is going to be just... Oh, I don't know if I want to go straight to Miskatonic University and play Drawn to the Flame, uh, just in case I get caught out. So I might have a little bit of a setup turn. Okay, guys, we're on. Agnes, uh, I want to try and get two, two interviews here. Okay, so first action, let's set up a bit. I'll play a knife for emergencies. Um, I don't hate the knife. I think it's actually a, quite a nice weapon, very versatile. Um, it just, it's just that, you know, it generally just does one plus one attack. Um, the throwing ability is quite handy. Uh, I will play Stray Cat. Hello Stray Cat. And then I will, uh, do I want to investigate straight away? Um, I'm two on two, which is a wonderful. So let's get to River Town and get a clue straight away. So here we go. I didn't use the ability on my house. I decided not to. Uh, okay, my setup's gone weird again. Here we go. Then. So uh, that's the end of my turn, isn't it? Uh, so here we go. Upkeep. Uh, I've got the heirloom. Oh, I tell you what, I did notice um, the um, sin of the elder sign is actually a spell. However, I'm not sure it's counted as playing it when you commit it to a test. So I don't think that would work on the heirloom. What do we got? Obscuring fog. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay. Well, we're going straight to Miskatonic University. We are going, oh, if I put a resource on there. We're going straight to Miskatonic University. Enough of this nonsense. Let's just get going. All right, so first action, Miskatonic University. Okay, that's two clues. And I will immediately play Drawn to the Flame. And I get an Acolyte. That's not too bad. I could possibly knife him. Um, is there any way I could take a horror? I can't see it. All right, okay, well, he's, I'm not in a mad rush for him. Where do I put him is the question. Empty location, maybe next to me? No, no, no that's silly, isn't it? So it's, uh, let's think about St Mary's Hospital. I think I'm going to go in sort of this direction. All right, and I get two clues, hooray! So that was one action to move in, second action to get the two clues. Uh, I'm not going to get a uh, cultist out now. Um, so in actual fact, no, I'm going to change. I'm going to put this in south side, and for my second action, third action, I'm going to move here. Okay, and we've got an option to heal damage there, which is quite handy. Spend one action, heal three damage. I'm exploring a different part of Arkham today. Here we go. So, card. Astral travel. Who knows? Who knows? That could come in handy. Third Doom going on to play. I need to start thinking about how I'm going to deal with this guy. He has only got one health, but I've only got um, two strength. And it is a locked door. Attached to the location with the most clues. Um... Oh, um I think I might just write off my house. Uh, just assume that I'm not going to do that. That feels like it's okay. All right, let's make a plan. How are we going to kill the Acolyte? Well, I could commit the heirloom, couldn't I? I could move in, attack. Um, that seems fine. I haven't got a cultist out yet. Maybe I should get the cultist out first. Just worried about that uh, nurse popping up in St Mary's Hospital. However, I could automatically evade her. I might have to check the rules on that one. Um, let's, yeah, I think actually I'm going to do that. So here you go. First action is bring in a cultist. Nurse! Nurse! Come on, let's find you. It's not the nurse, it's Peter Warren. Okay, probably one of the easier ones to get. However, I do have to try and rustle up two clues from somewhere. Uh, okay, here we go. So that's my first action. Second action, I am moving into Southside and the uh, Acolyte engages me. 
Uh, this is the location. This is a random location, by the way. And the one that I have got is the one where you search your deck for a uh, ally, which might not be a terrible plan. Anyway, let's go for it. So knife one, two, three, committing uh, the heirloom four, five against three. This feels pretty good. Famous last words. Uh, skull and a skull is it is minus one because there's one doom on a cultist. All right, well done. Okay, uh, this feels all right so far. What are we, what are we going to get as our card? I haven't quite worked out how my setup here, have I? Well, don't do that. That makes it far worse. Maybe I've got a bit of space this way. There we go. All right, so uh, let's draw a card, and we have got Reckless Assault. I mean, we are a million miles away from being desperate here, but when we hit desperate, we are going to be a force to be reckoned with. What have we got? Mysterious Chanting. Oh, no. Place to do with the nearest cultist enemy. Hmm. Okay, now we've got now we've got some things happening that aren't great um, because that is going to advance the doom. I have no time. I either need two clues in that location, which can't happen, um, or I go kill him. And the way I could kill him is I could move in, uh, I could attack with my knife, a bit of a long shot, three on two, and then I could throw my knife. Um, if it backfires. I'm stuck there. However, I've got, I've got astral travel. No, that, that, that's not going to help. I don't think. I can't see a way to make that work. Oh, Peter Warren is doing some incredible um, cultisting, whatever the whatever the word is. So I think I'm just going to have to take that long shot punt and hope it works. What happens if it doesn't work? Am I just going to be sitting there taking a damage? Um, oh, it's very risky, isn't it? I'm a bit worried about this. Uh, I'm not going. I can't let it happen though. So there's there's no choices there. First action, move in. Not a leaf, is he? No, that's a shame, isn't it? Right. So first action was moving. Second action, I'm attacking with the knife. I'm not throwing the knife. I don't want to be defenceless. So this is uh, three on two. This is horrible. I think this is the right play. I can't I can't lose two act two whole turns, can I? Minus two didn't work. All right. Okay. Looks like I'm going to be. It's going to be a war of attrition with Peter Warren, and now I cannot close him down um, unless I can take a horror somehow, which I can't. Uh, damn you, Peter Warren! Right. If I'm not getting him, perhaps I just leg it. Oh, because you know what's about to happen. Our mate's about to appear, isn't he? Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I, I wish I could keep remembering that he keeps appearing because this is really annoying me. I guess I need to save the stray cat. No, I can't. He's elite. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in danger of getting zero here. Right. Okay, I think the play is then I'm going to have to just back out of Peter Warren. Damn you, Peter Warren. You evil genius. So that was one action to move in. Second action was the missed attack. Third action, uh, I'm going to move out of there. So I'm only engaged with one enemy. Uh, there are a couple of clues there. They are quite hard to get hold of. Um, okay, let's see what happens. God, I've lost two whole rounds there. That's awful. Prophesy. Um, yeah, maybe later in the game, but I'm not going to get a chance to play it now, am I? As the Doom advances, and we all know what that means. It's big guy time. Oh, okay, right. Well, I'm invading this guy. There's, I, I can't. I can't. I can't even touch this guy at the moment. Uh, it's, it's mathematically, no, it's not mathematically impossible, but it'll take forever. Let's see what we get as a card. Ah, oh, it's all happening now. Oh no. <sighs> astral travel, I can't just play astral travel, can I? Remove any revealed location, remove a random, uh, no, that doesn't do anything. Ah, uh, okay, we got problems. We got massive problems. Uh, okay, let's start by evading the hunting night dawn. Then I'm just, I'm just pausing there because I'm just wondering if there's any tricks I could do with horror. It feels so weak. Uh, let's do it then. So three on one to avoid the evaded night dawn. Okay, that's great news except for the fact that I would have loved that zero somewhere else. <sighs> okay, okay, fine. No, don't complain. Maybe I take a hit here just to separate these guys out. No, I can fail this test first and then take a hit, can't I? So I am now evading. Um, I think I'm, I think, oh. See, actual travel might actually do something. I could actually ping myself somewhere else once I get rid of this guy. Um, of course, if I played it now, I would take a tech of opportunity and I would lose a third of my health. Okay, right, uh, do I commit it or not? 
well, that's the that's a decision I'm trying to make here. Uh, three on. Yeah, I'm, hang on a minute. How many minus twos are there? There is the cultist and there is the two minus twos. Yeah, okay, I'm committing it. Four on two, please. No, minus three. Ah, oh. oh my god. Okay, I'm already completely up against the wall here. Um, okay, third action. I have to move out. If the hunting night god engages me, I am stuffed. Um, I could heal my damage over here if I could get here. I've just lost my uh, my <laughs> my, my uh, what's it called? What's it called, everyone? Uh, astral travel. So there we go. That's the attack of opportunity for moving. Uh, had no choice there. That is the uh, attack. And I've just, of course, don't forget her ability. I've just taken a horror during the investigation phase and a horror during the enemy phase. However, be aware, uh, he's actually got six health. All right, uh, I'm now out of attacks. I can't be attacked by this guy again. Uh, this is terrible, isn't it? Hey, don't worry about it. It's only a game. Dumb luck. Oh my God. I just, I can't believe this is, oh, non-elite. That's a shame. Can you imagine if that card came to the rescue? Uh, locked door, fine. Location with the most clues that hasn't got locked door. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to be heading back north side anytime soon. Um, however, that's got a victory point. Maybe I'll put it on me. I'm, I'm not going to be hanging around there, am I? Right, okay. Simply put, we need to evade this guy. First one, I'll do it just plain. Second one, I will do it with the prophesy. Uh, no, I commit dumb luck. What am I talking about? I'm being a fool. Committing dumb luck. So here we go. We're five on two, and then we run, run, run. Ah, oh, no, come on. No, this, this can't be happening. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, okay, that's a fail. Second action is uh, four on two. I don't feel like I've done anything desperately wrong in this game yet. I don't know. Maybe you can let me know. Uh, plus one. <laughs> Very good, comedy timing, chaos bag, and then I will move to East Town. Right, okay, hanging on by a thread. Which one is this one? You can play an ally for two less. Well, one thing I'm not sure on is, is finances. Right, the Master Hunter upgrade. I get uh, ready, so I've got a card to say your prayers. Not doing anything for me at the moment. Get a resource. Uh, and the hunting night gaunt moves there. Okay, here we go. We're on to the two doom of eight. I've lost prophesy. I had to commit to that blooming test. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> Acolyte. Uh. Okay, it's time to get pretty focused on what I need to do. I'm going to chuck him. Where am I chucking him? Perhaps I chuck him in north side and maybe I'm doing a bit of a circuit around here. I need to get this clue. I need to get this clue to get him. Mm. I think maybe a couple of people would see that as a mistake. Uh, you're probably right. Well, I need this clue, don't I? So first action, I'm going to play Arcane Studies. These cards are coming to my blue and rescue. Uh, how far up do I want to go? Uh, well, if I'm going to use this more than once, I can't spend all the money. I'm going to put two on there. This is my second action. I am four on two. Oh, I didn't do the little turn counters this game, did I? Never mind. Oh, minus four. What's happening, people? Uh, and then third action is going to have to be to move to Rivertown. Oh, look at that. I'm making a mess. Why are there two clues on Rivertown? Because I just knocked one. All right. Okay, so enemy phase. At least these guys are hanging out together. Um... Oh man, did I forget the Night Gaunt's ability? No, I think I got a zero, didn't I? Oh well. It's gone wrong enough anyway. <laughs> it's not worrying too much. Uh, okay, perception, that's very handy. So my route has now changed. I'm now going one, two, one, clue, two. Hang there, then they can come up there. Boom, get him, and hopefully get the acolyte. It's sketchy, isn't it? Uh, I must either spend one clue or take two damage. Oh. Yeah, that's me done. I'm done. I'm out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't very good, was it? Um, right. What did I do wrong there? I don't feel like I did much wrong there. Um, I'd love some feedback, actually. If you, if you want to pick one to say, oi, brown loaf, that was rubbish. Now would probably be the time. Maybe I used the stray cat too early. I don't think I 
did. Uh, I think I've just been a bit unlucky. It's, do you know what it is? It's because I've read the flavour text on Dumb Luck and I'm no longer oblivious, so fortune is no longer favouring me. Uh, that's probably what it is. Hey guys, I don't care, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I've had a riot with Agnes. Um, she has really, really opened my eyes to some cool cards. I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't see, oh, look at that bottom card. The uh, My new cards, there you go, Snare Trap was right down there and Seal of the Elder Sign was right down there. Um, yeah, just got beaten up by the Masked Hunter. That's fine. That's the way it goes. In terms of score, we got zero interviews and one experience point. And we were defeated by damage. Agnes, I'm afraid, has not made the cut. So this is where her story ends. OK, there we go. We take the rough with the smooth. Uh, I did enjoy that. That was, that was very thrilling. Uh, just, yeah, a little bit sad at the end. All right. I might do a debrief. I don't know. I'll see you in a sec. Okay guys, I have decided to uh, do a quick debrief. Um, I just watched the video about it and I couldn't help laughing. It was uh, it was a hilarious series of calamities. Uh, but what really made me laugh is the amount of ironic statements I made at the start of the video. Things like, I'm going to be really confident and uh, hey, I'll be able to dance around the hunting night gaunts and uh, oh, I hope not too many locked doors turns up. I mean, it was, uh, yeah, I, I really re laughed out loud watching that back. Um, with with uh, hindsight um and i asked the question did i make any mistakes and, I, and i've identified two major mistakes i made possibly three uh first one is i said on my first playthrough that i was always going to respect this card and i didn't and absolutely that i should be punished for that how can i go around with two damage knowing there is a card that I can do nothing about that will deal me two damage. I mean, in the situation I found myself in, there's nothing I could have done. Uh, however, I just spent with two clues straight away with Peter Warren. Why didn't I get that clue in St. Mary's Hospital first? I think that was definitely a mistake. And well, I mean, <laughs> I know it was a mistake because it's what killed me. I felt like I could have played Arcane Studies a bit sooner. Um, I, don't, I don't have any clue tech here. I'm sitting here with an investigation of two. I used my main clue tech straight away, which is right. That was that was the correct play. Um, but I should have had Arcane Studies in play very early on. Uh, ready, because I, I mean, I had loads of money. Uh, this is a relatively cheap deck. So that was a bit of a mistake. However, I think the pivotal mistake was when I was engaged with both the, both the Masked Hunter and the hunt, Hunting Night Gaunt got it out there um and for some reason i evaded the hunting night gaunt first um i think in my mind i was no i have no idea why that is i think i think based on the last game uh, i've got a bit of a fear of the hunting night gaunt um so i'd want to deal with him first however it was ridiculous because if any of those tests passed i was gonna take attack of opportunity and then another attack um and i essentially just wasted two damage i was never going to kill this guy uh, i didn't need to give him the horror um so yeah that was a definite definite misplay uh if i hadn't done that what would have happened i probably would have had uh, another couple of rounds and i could have potentially got peter but there we go. That that is the whole point of it. Uh, I, like I said, I learned quite a lot there. I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I hope you did too. Also, I guess um, I don't know why I didn't put this obscuring fog. Oh no, obscuring fog appeared there. I think my locked door uh, choices were a little bit off. However, I mean that was that was that was the uh, absolute littlest problem of the whole game. Um, yeah that's it okay right so uh cheers agnes that's been a blast uh we will see you on next next episode and it will be wendy and that's going to be a very very interesting one because wendy uh can essentially do anything with her ability so it'd be great to see how she copes with the midnight masks all right thank you guys have a lovely weekend Ooh, enjoy the uh, investigator start packs if you get them cheers bye